morning and welcome to Bilsterberg, the first post-corona track action for me over here in Germany. It is currently June the 8th today uh, and we're here at Bilsterberg with um, Volkenhorst Motorsport, also Schubert Motorsport are here along with BMW Motorsport uh, as we're having a general rollout for the team. So the whole fleet is here, the two M6s, the total car and the PlayStation car the Total M4, the M240, and the brand new BMW customer racing car for 2020, uh, the BMW M2 CS Racing. So it's gonna be the replacement for the M240. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna get our hands on all four of the customer racing cars that are available and uh, yeah, try them around the Bilsberg circuit, which has been described as the mini Nürburgring. I've never been here before. So yeah, I'm interested to learn a new circuit and what it's gonna be like. Day looks to be half decent not too much cloud no rain predicted relatively warm so yeah gonna be a good day finally to be back on track So the first post-corona laps have just taken place. Uh, just had a chance to shake down the M6 for uh, Henry Volkenhorst, who's going to be driving, and also Andreas Ziegler. And uh, yeah, it's always nice to uh, know that you can remember how to drive after all these months of sim racing and all that. It doesn't quite match the real thing. So yeah, back out on the M6 again, fell straight at home. Uh, brilliant little circuit, actually. Uh, loads of blind crests line crests, uh, loads of off-camera corners, on-camera corners, so yeah, in, in a relatively short uh, lap as well, so yeah, fun little circuit, uh, even in something as quick as the M6, so I think it might even be more fun in, in some of the more uh, sort of lower and slower powered cars, so uh, yeah, look forward to the rest of the day.
So we're here at day two of Bilsterberg Test. Um, yesterday afternoon it became very busy in the end because I ended up jumping from car to car and then I've been working with the Vulcan Horse drivers to um, obviously help and improve them as much as I can. Brilliant now that Vulcan Horse have got uh, V-boxes in all of the cars so that's obviously my preferred software and data analysis um, hardware and software of choice so I've been going through with all the guys with the M6, uh, the M4 uh, and the M2 as well, um, uh, getting them all up to speed. Uh, today it's a little bit wet, it's about 11, half 10 at the moment, so um, we've been waiting the first hour and a half for the car track to dry, uh, but yeah, should be another good day. There's literally like 10 cars on track, so yeah, uh, let's go here for day two. <laughs> So halfway through the day two Bilsterberg test here of Vulcan Horse Motorsport. Um, just been mainly doing loads of coaching today with the guys. They've really, I think they've kind of settled in on the first day and then really want to push on on the second day. So I've spent most of my time in Circuit Tools V-Box working with those guys. Uh, got a chance to have a run out in the M6 uh, PlayStation car as well, which was really cool. Um, and yeah, just generally shake it down, ready for VLM1 because now we know that VLM1 is actually happening next two weeks time, uh, which is really cool. So it'll hopefully start the motorsport season off again. Uh, but yeah, been working with uh, all the drivers, uh, older gentleman drivers, all the way down to uh, Tio uh, Overhouse, who has uh, who his dad Ralph races with the team. Uh, but he's just starting his career. He's a young go karter, um, and he's just made the transition to cars this year, and it's his first time out in the 240. I and uh, yeah, very very impressive uh, drive from such a young um, from such a young young man. So um, yeah, hopefully get out with him uh, and follow his progress uh, for the rest of the year. Also, um, so yeah, now we're gonna run some laps in the M4 for a bit of setup work and uh, then jump in with Tio again, and then it will be end of day. So I just got called up to the Bilsterberg track office. However, it was good news. Uh, they have told me that uh, I officially set the GT3 lap record around uh, Bilsterberg while testing. <laughs> shaking down the PlayStation M6. So that was a nice little surprise to the past couple of days. I can now officially say I'm a lap record holder. So yeah, that was a good end to a good couple of days. I've been absolutely spoilt for, uh, for choice, um, being able to drive all of the BMW customer fleet, uh, really getting uh, an idea of what 
uh, all the cars alike and also get myself back in back in the game ready for VLN which is going to kick off in two weeks time now so um, yeah we're going to go testing at the official VLN test in uh, the 15th so that's only in one week's time uh, which will be really exciting as well so uh, yeah I look forward to catching up with you then so yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes testing vlog and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below uh, if you enjoyed videos like this make sure you subscribe share this video as well with a friend that might like it and um, yeah we'll catch up at the Nürburgring uh, to go testing Ciao, ciao.